everybody wants to see him because of the rec specs that he wears when he's outside. And then we tell him, oh, yeah, we wear him to protect his eyes because he's blind. Then people are always surprised. <laughs> we are Martin and Lillian, and this is Sterling's story for GeoBeats. Really? Sterling, I saw him while I was taking a break at work. I saw him on Facebook. He was about to be euthanized for space in a local shelter. In June 2018, yeah. we started to notice what we thought were allergies because his eyes were a little bit red. And after about a week, we noticed one of his pupils was more dilated than the other. A little bit of a whitish cast in his eyes. We found out he got glaucoma. It really devastated Lillian. Sterling took it like a champ, but, you know, <laughs> my wife definitely had more of a, a challenge, you know, coming to terms with the diagnosis for him. What are you doing, bad boy? We fought that for about 18 months until he was blind. and promised him that he would continue to have his happy life and adventure. Walker is the sweetest Malamute I've ever met. <laughs> Walker. He loves everyone, every dog, every person, every food. I kind of refer to him as the court jester. <laughs> Walker, you're so cute. He's come a long way since he was rescued. He was dumped in a back road in Louisiana, a chemical burn on his head, and heartworm positive. Oh. <laughs> you're such a ham. He was, you know, scared of men, scared of, you know, car Cars. rides and, and everything. And, and he bonded to, uh, to Sterling and took all of his cues from Sterling and was able to then overcome all that stuff to become such a sweet, trusting boy that he is now. Walker very much learned to trust Sterling's judgment on things. <laughs> Sterling has no fear. <laughs> In his mind, he's always been a superstar. He's a very confident dog. He thinks he can do anything. He's the center of attention. On walks, anytime we pass anybody, he just always assumes they want to stop and pet him. That's Sterling. Sterling, you and see how far you can go? Half the time, we're having to rein him back a little bit just to make sure he doesn't run into a tree or whatever else. <laughs> he still thinks he can lead because he thinks he knows where he's going. He's still the same today as he was before. The only thing is he's just a little bit more of a mama's boy. But... <laughs> I've seen the trust grow since he went blind. Yay! <laughs> he trusts that I'm not going to put him in a position that's going to hurt him. He's got a couple of pills that he takes. For a while, we were doing six different ointments and drops four times a day. He completely yeah. trusts us. He loves running. This is a social part of his happiness. Go, big bear, go! Now that he's blind, he doesn't want to run quite as fast as he used to, but he still trusts me to guide him around whatever obstacles there are. The only dog he really plays with and wrestles with is Walker. Sterling. Walker is so patient with Sterling. Sterling bumps into him all the time when he's laying down. And he just ignores it or gets up and moves over. He's very considerate. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. That's the word. Sterling has his pretty, pretty little plants. This dog is my world. There's nothing I wouldn't do for him. If I say more, I'm going to cry. <laughs> I love this dog.